sir. Hello, this is Bishop George McKinney at the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ in San Diego, California. And uh, we are living in a very difficult and a, a trying time. The economy is topsy-turvy. Uh, wars and rumors of wars are uh, everywhere to be uh, seen. And it's a time of great testing of faith. It's a time also in which there's so much tension and stress that people are looking everywhere to find happiness. One can find happy, happy pills uh, from the drug dealer on the streets. Or one can pursue pleasure mindlessly in order to try to find happiness somewhere. Well, I, I've got a, a, a good news for you. That if you really want to know true joy and happiness. There is a formula, there is a word from the book of Psalms that gives you the secret of finding true joy and happiness. Listen to what the psalmist says. Blessed or happy or contented or at rest in God's presence. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Ah, that is a portrait of a man or woman who has found true happiness. Happy, contented, at rest in the presence of God is that person who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, who does not look to those who are filled with the sense of spiritual confusion, who have embraced lies, who search for and seek after immediate gratification, and those who walk in darkness don't allow the fool to be your counselor. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Those who don't know that it is God who is the sustainer, the creator, the sustainer of life, those who reject the claim of God upon our lives, the ungodly, the, those who are wicked and, and irreverent and not respectful of the truth that God has revealed regarding himself and life and the purpose and the meaning of life. Don't walk in the counsel of those who have not given God his due respect and reverence. No. But listen to what the psalmist declares, that this happy state of those who walk in the counsel of the godly will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. And I would, would like to ask, what kind of tree is the, is the godly like? Ah, uh, the godly, those who trust in God, who, who, who seek to do God's will, to deny self and willingly take up the cross of Christ and follow after truth and embrace righteousness and pursue justice. Those who are godly are blessed. They are happy. They are contented. They have joy. But they're like a tree. I suspect they're like an oak tree that's sturdy. That, that is able to provide sh shade in the summer and shelter and heat in the winter. They should be like a tree, like, like a palm tree that, that sends its roots down deep into the soil and becomes a sturdy plant that can withstand tornadoes and strong winds 
and that winds come and the tree, that the palm tree with its deep roots will bend and bow, but it will straighten up when the wind, when the storm passes over. Ah, those who know God have the wonderful privilege of being able to endure hardness as good soldiers.